Okay, I found my my butterfly die that I want to use, and it's going to go about there. So I want to. I'm just going to mark a square around this, and I want to leave it wide enough opened because what I'm planning I'm trying to have my butterfly like when the page is up it would it'll swing around <laughs> I'm thinking of it so I'm just going to rule a line down here with a pencil and let me just see about four and a half inches which is eleven and a half centimeters across there and the same with this one and rule down there it's really only for a guide because I am going to put some some paint on here as well on the background about there so that'll go there and then another line about there I think okay all right that should do just mark that on there uh, I'm going to put some paint on here on this side here and I also um, while I was off camera I gave that a quick coat of gesso as well um, that's the other page and I'm not going to stick these two pages together just yet because I'm not sure if I want to put a couple of eyelets in there to hold it or leave it open to put a piece of wire through it so I'll just let that go for the time being and I thought I'd have a play I brought these fabric paint sticks uh, when I went up to get some more Mod Podge the other day at um, I was gonna say Dollar Tree but it's called like Homewares or something now and I actually got these for Bridget to play with um, I'm looking after my granddaughter three days a week <clears throat> while my daughter is back at school um, not school at TAFE and I'm not sure how these are going to go because they're actually fabric paints but they're like a crayon so let's just have a little bit of a play with them I think once they get activated again, <coughs> pardon me, um, they they might run, but that's okay. Uh, what I'm doing is I can see the marks from where I've put my layer of papers down and I'm just going to go around the edges with this purple just give them, um, I'm going to do inside there too because I want that Oh, pardon me, I just had lunch. That's terrible, Wendy. Um, <laughs> I want this piece here that I cut out coloured as well. So then I can just put the... the um, cut the die, the butterfly, straight from it. Okay, so let's do a bit of colouring in with this one.
Okay, so that's a purple. And I'll grab the blue. They screw up the ends. Very similar to gelatos, but I actually think it might be like a, um, a water paint or something. And let's put some green on here. Nice bright green. Right, I'm going to grab my little brayer, which is just up over here. Somewhere. There it is. My smaller brayer. It's not that little, but it'll do. And I might grab some, just some gesso. On a brush. And I'm just going to put some gesso, white gesso, just straight on my brayer. And run it over my page. And I just have to go and tell my husband to turn the TV down a bit because I think he's just turned it up full. I mean, can be oh, he can be very trying at times. He won't wear his hearing aids. And I go out of the room and he turns the TV up so loud. Okay, so just put a bit more on. I just feel like just having a play with a little bit more. And a little bit down the bottom here okay liking the look of that so far now just put that there now I'm going to cut the circle out Oops. Um, am I going to cut that out or not? Let me think. I'll put those over there for the moment. Uh, maybe I should, I, I will put some colour on this side first. I'll just give that I a really quick dry. really didn't need much of a dry using the, um, using the gesso on the, on the brayer. So... Right, let's turn over. I'll get some colour on this page here first. So I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to use um, I'm going to use brighter colours. So I'm going to use the red. It's got some lovely texture going on there. Must have been from the the gesso. And is there a line there? No, there's not, but I might just colour that one. So we've got that one, and I'll grab the orange. So I've got my, my granddaughter for, for the next nine months, from Monday... To Wednesday or every second or Monday to Thursday I drop her at preschool on Thursdays and every second Wednesday she goes to preschool she goes to preschool um, Thursday and Fridays and then every second Wednesday um, and I thought while she's not here that'll give me a chance to catch up on some things I've still got a a few journals to finish off which I don't know I think I've just lost lost a little bit of interest in my journals at the moment 
that pink's really light. That's okay. I might grab that yellow and see what that's like. Okay, so I've got that one there done with those sticks, fabric paint sticks. And I'll just do the same with my my white gesso and just go over it with the brayer. Okay, and just a little bit more. Okay, so that's that side done. With some background paint. So we've got that side there. I've got the paper down here because I've actually gessoed that page and I just don't want any paint to splash over there at the moment. I mean, mark it. And I've got that side there. So I've got the blue and purples and the greens and the orange, reds and yellows here. So I'm going to open that up now and put my, pardon me, put my scoreboard underneath here because I want to cut that, leave that there. I'll grab my, um, my big shot in a minute so I can still see these lines just there and I'm just going to cut it out. So there, I'm just going to run it down just a couple of times so I know it's cut. Just turn that around for a second and do this side that I mean the top and bottoms oh, that's what I forgot to get when I went to get the um, the oh, the modeling paste I forgot to get pick up some more blades for these. So that'll be another trip out there I think. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that should be cut through on both sides. Let me see. Yep. Yes, they are. So I'm going to glue those two together now. Um, so I've got this side here for one side of the butterfly and the other side there and I'll just use the, the Mod Podge to glue them together. So let's stick these two together. Get those uh, pressed down on here so I know that they're, they're stuck. Okay, now I'm going to just let those two dry because I want to use my butterfly to cut my butterfly out of there, and I think I've done it wrong already because. I wanted to put something in between these two. Oh, hurly dooly. Wendy, you're a, an absolute goose, Wendy. I don't think they're going to actually come apart. No, they're not. All right, so that's just made up my mind that I'm actually going to have. Um, no, I can, I can work that out in a minute. Okay, all right. I can work that out in a minute. I shouldn't have glued those two together, but that's okay. Because I've got some spare papers 
that I can use to make the butterfly out of if I have to. Okay, now um, I really have to make the butterfly now, don't I? Okay, so I've got this spare paper there. I'll cover that over because you don't want to see a man's penis. And my butterfly might be just a different colour than what I was going for, but that's okay. I'll use that for something else in the book. So what I'm going to do is cut my butterfly out. I'll just move that and put the glue, the lid on that glue first. Okay, so I'll grab my big shot, my big, big shot here. And I do need some new plates for this too. That one there is quite bowy. This one here. That was only new um, about, I don't know, five months ago or something. So I'm just going to cut the butterfly out of this. So I'll have the two pieces. But then it won't be very thick. That's okay. I'll work around it, okay? Okay, I'll we'll just cut that out. And I just go back to just for good measure. There we go. Okay. So I don't want to cut his little antennae antenna off. There, what? Well, God's caught. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We got him. Okay, so now what I'm thinking, I might just cut another two. So that's the first two that I've cut. And I've got another piece of paper of that the scrap paper that came out of that book here somewhere because I know I haven't thrown it away here it is so I'm just why is it lately every time I pick up one of these papers it's got a man's penis on it is it trying to tell me something <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut another two, and this is just the paper that I pulled out of that medical book. So we'll go there and go through there again. Right. Now and get the. Be careful with the antenna. Oh, that one come out easy. Okay, so that's another two there. Alright, so I can put this up now. Um, I'm just going to work on my butterflies, I think. So, just to make them a bit um, thicker, uh, sturdier, I'm actually going to glue the two together. So, I'll have two on one side and two on the other side. Oops. So I'll grab just some of this Mod Podge and put some, just cover the butterfly with it. This one here. And put a little bit on there to cover that side. Now hopefully I can match these up okay. So with that one, there, I have to come up it just a little bit, oops, we don't want four antenna, this is so fiddly, we 
Okay, so we've got that one on there. And that one on there. Okay, cool, that's done. Right, so I've got those two pieces together. And now I'll do these, these two, glue them together. Okay, so that's the start of my butterflies. Um, they're going to have to be, they're going to be, not have to be, they're going to be put together uh, with some wire, but I'm going to colour either side of them now, and I'm going to go back with those sticks that I used the papers for. So I've got one side's going to be the reds and the oranges and the yellows. I might just grab the red and the yellow. And I haven't gessoed these, but that's okay. I think they should still work okay. I might have to wet my finger or get a baby wipe. A baby wipe would be better, wouldn't it? And just spread that colour around with the baby wipe. Yeah, that's all right. A bit more red up there, I think. Got red there. Some on the lid. Okay, so that's a red and the yellow colour and on this one here I'm going to put the, the purple and the blue. So a bit of purple and blue. my baby wipe again and just mix those colours a bit whoops okay a bit more purple I think just here. Oops. I'm being trying to be so careful not to break their little antennas and I'm, I keep grabbing it. Okay. Alright. Okay, I like the look of those. That'll do for those. Just move those out of the road again. Um, okay. I'll give them a quick dry the and I've got my little stamp here um, oh I can never remember it I know Ginny told me what it was called once and yep, I can't remember it um, think of jester I think of a jester whenever I see this one so I'm just going to put some of these on here. There we go. That looks cool. I like that. So that's that one. And do this one.
Okay, and there's that one there. That looks good. Okay, now put that over there. Okay, so that's the front and back. That's going to be the front and back of my butterfly. I want, I need some kind of little tubing in the center. Oh, don't tell me they've just started to mow. I'm doing some kind of maintenance work outside, so sorry if you can hear that. So I'm after a... I'm after a... What am I after? You know what it's called, don't you? A... <laughs> uh, a straw. Uh, I know I've got plastic straws out in the cupboard. Uh, but I've got paper ones here too somewhere, so I'll just have a... Alright, um, I just grabbed a couple of extra other things while I was out getting a straw. So I'm going to use, uh, this is a plastic straw, I don't normally grab these. Um, I normally get the paper ones, but I've got these anyway. So what I want to do is just cut a little bit of that straw to make like a, a tubing for my wire to go around. So about that much I think. And that straw is going to be layered in between my two butterflies. So I'm hoping that will work. Uh, let me think. Alright, I'm going to have to put some wire through that now. I've got some black wire here. I did want my thicker wire, but of course, packed up and can't find it. But I'm going to cut about, how much is that? I suppose about 8 inches. They're mowing next door. Oh. Okay, so I've got 8 inches of that wire cut. Um, I'm going to get some tape to put that on with, which is right behind me. Uh, and of course, I've got no tape either. Masking tape. I gave it to Samuel, didn't I? Hmm, okay. What's in here? I'll, uh, let me see if this works still. Okay. That's still sticky. Yuck. Alright. Now, ideally, I would have liked to have a little bit of masking tape, but uh, uh, me being Nan, Sam wanted to make something the other day out of toilet rolls and I said yes yeah, you can use the tape and then he said Nan I haven't finished can I take it home and I said yes yeah, you can take it home and of course I've got no tape left now <laughs> I do it all the time I don't know why okay so just a bit of this is just this is double sided tape that I've had for ages and ages and I really don't like using it but I'm going to. So that needs to go back that way a bit. Um, I put glue down because I don't know how well this double sided tape is going to stick. So I'm going to put that right in the center of the butterfly. Now I'm just thinking I can't glue, I've got to remember not to glue this part here of the butterfly antennas because the wire is going to go straight through that. I'll show you. So the piece of wire is going to go straight through there. Okay? And come up through the center. Alright. 
so just don't glue that Wendy for goodness sake and I'm going to grab another piece of this double sided tape and actually put glue that down onto there as well uh, there we go so that should hold that I'm hoping it does anyway and now I can glue the other side of my butterfly so I don't want to glue that part there I, I'll, I will end up gluing the, the top part of the antenna but I need to leave that part open so I'm just going to put some of this PVA glue on here <clears throat> and that's got a bit of double sided tape on I might put a bit of just a little bit up on the, the wings and just hope that that will keep it stuck and glue this onto here which is move that up a bit okay and just to keep that down I'll just grab my clips which should be right here in front of me in a jar that'll do these ones will do I'll just use these ones to hold that together for it to dry and just another little one there okay so I've just got those clips on there to hold the butterfly together until it dries okay now while that's drying just tidy up this here a bit. Don't lose that wire. Put that wire up there and bring my page back. So now I'm just thinking, I've really got to think if I want to put the wire straight through or actually just have it so Or have it on um, on eyelets. So let me think. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Because if I have it through eyelets, it'll just go like down and come up and I'll have to tie it, twist it but if I just have it through there with the wire um, in between the two pages, I mean not through there, like in between the two pages uh, I will just have to glue it in with the butterfly already in it this might have to pull that page up a bit okay so well what I'm thinking I might actually just have it between the two pages because I really like that really like that idea okay so still got to wait for my butterfly to dry I'm going to grab my Stabilo All Pencil and going to put some black around the inside of this because if that shows um, I don't want the, the stark white to just show um, like on this side here I'd rather have it just a bit have it darker blacker didn't cut that top one very straight but that's okay 
and just use my baby wipe to activate that. And then do the same on the inside here. Okay, so that's going to go there. And while I'm out of dominoes, we'll do the inside of this one here too. Okay, so that's that one done. And do the other side as well. Okay, so that the little square is ready for when my butterfly is ready. Got some, I've got a script stamp here. Uh, might just put some of that on the background to start with while I'm still thinking. So I'll just put this down. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. And do it on the other side, yes. Let's have a go. Yep, let's do it on the other side. Alright, so I've got some of that on there and I'm just thinking do I want to put some of this on? I think I do because it's it'll just go with the with the marks on that I've got on the butterfly. Not too much, but just a little bit. Right, that looks good. Now go back to this side over here and just put a few on here as well. That's enough. That's enough, Wendy. Alright, so I've done some stamping on there too. That looks a lot better than just leaving that that plane. Okay, so how's my butterfly going? Let's have a look. Now I'm going to put the wire through. Let's just straighten this out a bit, if I can. Just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to thread the wire through my little tube there. And that's going to make my butterfly spin, hopefully. But I don't want it to keep falling down here. This is why I just grabbed out these little um, this little container of beads. So uh, what ones do I want in there? Let me think. I've got a couple of these little oval shaped ones so I'll grab some of those ones out um, I'm not sure, I don't think I have many of those left so I've got those ones I don't want the moon shaped ones because they um, They go on the side. Let me see if I've got any more. Because I do need a couple more. There's one. Different coloured. Oops. Don't lose the little ones. Okay, so I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. I've got these little shaped ones in here like stars. There's a couple of little flower ones there. They might be okay. Yeah, the little flower ones. I'll grab some of those out too and just mix them up a bit. Why not? Why not, Wendy? I'm just having fun playing. Got some blue, green, pink, red, Purple. 
Okay, so I think that'll be enough. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to hold my butterfly and that's going to go there and that's going to go up that end. So I want my butterfly sort of like in the centre there. So I'm just going to hold that end there and thread some of these on. So I think I'll start with these, that one, and do a couple of these little flower beads. Uh, red, put a green on, and yellow. Oops, it's got a hole in it. And let me think about the center and just one more so I'll put that green one on the end there so let me just measure that so that's going to go there so that's just the good size to have that up underneath there so I'm just going to bend that up so those beads don't fall off while I do the other end now I'm doing the other end and I'm just thinking I'm going to glue these two um, the two antenna antennae what am I doing Wendy I'm trying to get that glue off there right I got my apron on today it's been one of those wipe your dirty hands on your apron day and hubby's just brought me a heap of new clothes that don't have paint on them and <laughs> I'm so scared I'm so so scared not to get any paint on them now so I've actually started wearing an apron all right so I'm going to put the glue just on the antenna but not to glue that wire so just press those together while I'm holding it Let's see if I can get them together. Okay, so let's just press that together. So that's that one side done. Now this side. Alright. That one there's a bit wobbly there. That's better. And that one there. Alright. So let me get two of those small ones. How can I work this out that way? Oh no! Oh, that just jumped straight on there then. Right, do this side first, Wendy. Okay, so that's going to hold down that antenna. And I'm going to turn that around to grab the other side. And that come apart when I dropped that and that one can hold that antenna now I just have to be careful that they don't rip that little part off there okay so I've got that on and now I'm going to thread some of these ones on so put one of these yellow colored wooden beads on there first and then just oh hang on I've got to get I've got to get that off my hands oh that glue when you use glue and pens and pencils your fingers just get so so dirty and gluey and okay that's much better Okay, much better. Sorry about that. So now I can thread these on. And I'm not totally looking at really dirty hands. They're not that clean, but they're not dirty, yucky, dirty. Right. 
I don't really need them up the top but I'm just thinking that it would be nice so that one's going there and I'll just put one more of those on just there okay uh, actually no that should be right I think let me see yeah that should be right that looks okay yep it does all right so I'll put those ones back in here that I didn't use and that can be put away now okay and I need to go out and get a drink of water because I'm just melting I've got the ceiling fan on and we've had a little bit of rain from the outskirts of that cyclone Omo, uh, um, Umo or whatever they're calling it but it just hasn't cooled anything down it's still really really hot so these should be right to take off now yep oh don't fall off beads uh, okay did that stick down that well I don't know right okay now I'm going to it's that time I'll straighten that back out see having that on there the butterfly is going to spin round I don't know how good I'm going to do it spinning it around when it's actually in the book but <laughs> it'll look nice okay so let's open up my page and that double sided tape that I used what did I do with that there it is I am going to put some glue down first though oh pardon me so that's going to just a little bit in the center and a little bit in that center and this can be pressed onto it so there's that one there and that one there now this would be good for me to have some of the um, the other tape the masking tape would have been great but unfortunately I don't have any at the moment and I don't even have normal sticky tape so I'm just going to use this tape here all right so that bit there and I can put another piece up under there and that can get pressed onto that so I've got my top one up now the bottom one I'll get the tape first. This is so old, this tape. Really, really. Good couple of years old. It's still sticky, but I just hardly ever use it. Okay. Um, and I'm just putting a piece of the double-sided tape up underneath the top part here where the, the end of the wire is too. Okay so that is stuck down there and I'm just going to put another piece right at that edge to hold that down and also up here at the top right at the edge where the wire is okay so now it is just a matter of gluing these two pages together and I'm going to use this Mod Podge for that Let's get my brush All right. and my squeaky chair, sorry about my squeaky chair 
Okay, so we're just going to put a heap of Mod Podge all over here. Right up close to that edge. And I'm going to do the same on this side here too. Not that I really think you need it, but I'm just making sure that it's going to stay together. I'm going to close this page up on this side here and try and get that nice and even. Okay, and then we can just close that book up on top of it. <coughs> oh, I've got to do something with this squeaky chair. <coughs> it's starting to annoy me. <laughs> okay, let's open up. And our page is down. Down there, anyway. Whoops. And we're stuck together on the back one. Okay. And look at that. Look, our butterfly. You lift it up a bit and our butterfly will spin. Yay! That looks so cool. <laughs> it does look good. I like my little spinny butterfly. Okay, now, just for the time being, I'm just going to put a couple of the clips on the inside here just until they dry properly. One more there. That should do. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry. I think the outside pages just might need a little bit too. Let me have a look. I'll just have to clip them down a bit. Oh, I was going to go around the outside of that butterfly with my black Stabilo all, but I totally forgot. But that's okay, I might be able to do something else. Okay. It's holding together pretty good. Might need to just move this one over a bit to grab that wire. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to let that have a really good dry and I shall be back. Hi guys, back. Everything dried. Um, before I put the butterfly on, I did want to go around and darken the edges, so I'm just trying to do that roughly now, just with this permanent marker I have here, which I think I might be able to just manage without making too much of a mess, um, even if I just lift that page up a bit. I just wanted to just to, to de define the outside of my butterfly in here in the little frame. Even if I just managed to get the wings on it done and not worry about the antenna. I really don't know what you call those. I'm calling them antenna anyway, the butterfly. The most probably got a, a proper name for it. Okay, and I think I just had this side here to do on the on that side. But I just love, <laughs> I just love the way the butterfly just spins around with the page opened. Very interactive. Okay. So I think that might be a lid and I'll just grab this side here and just see if I can go around those just a little bit. I know I'm drawing more on my finger than anything else. Turn that around. 
around. If you try one of these for yourself, I would suggest that you actually do the outline on the butterfly before you actually put it together. Okay, so that's it. Uh, no, not yet, not quite. I am going to go just around the outside of my page with my Stabilo All. Alright, so I'm going to call that done. That looks so cool and my butterfly just... just spins around. <laughs> I really like that. Okay, so I'll just finish up this side here by going around. Okay, yep, so that's it. That's it guys, my little spinning butterfly. Put all these back up there now. Um, on this page here. She looks so cool. There we go, my little spinning butterfly. Now I've got to work out, um, it can go both sides, like you can have the purple butterfly or you can have the red butterfly. Um, I'm going to work out something so that uh, when you actually have it just open like that, uh, there's nothing too busy in the background so that the butterfly is still the focal image from there but that'll be in the next video I think I'll do this page here or this page here um, and bring some of those colors over but I really just wanted to get this one done here because I had this idea in my head and I just I just couldn't get rid of it until I did until I done it um, this was inspired by Laurie, Ma Laurie Marie Jenkins uh, I don't think it's actually the same as Laurie Marie but Laurie Marie does so many wonderful things where she actually tells you to take the inspiration from her and and use it yourself so that's exactly what I done thank you so much Laurie Marie I just love this and I hope you guys enjoyed it too I can sit here all day and just play with my butterfly <laughs> that is so cool I just love it okay Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I shall catch you later. I'm having so much fun playing in my altered book. Okay, bye bye. You all have a great day.